Hey everyone, it's Father John here. So today is July 31st, and uh, in the life of the church, it's the Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola. And uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola was the founder of the Jesuits. Um, Pope Francis is a Jesuit priest. And one of his or first or early like compatriots in all of the work of the Jesuits was St. Francis Xavier. That's the image of the window um, that you just saw at the beginning of this video and might be seeing now. St. Francis Xavier was a great missionary in the church. Uh, he left a place of comfort and went to distant lands to do things that he never thought God would ask of him and really evangelized peoples who'd never heard of Jesus and really changed their lives because they came to know Christ. St. Francis Xavier is pretty important to me because I was ordained a priest on December 3rd, uh, 2011, the feast of St. Francis Xavier. And uh, I thought of that this morning because today officially is kind of my last day as the principal here at OLQA. And uh, it's the Feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, and that connects certainly um, to my own life and call as a priest as well. I think of uh, the past two years in serving as a principal at OLQA, and I think of the past eight and a half years as a priest, and I look back at the many great, great opportunities and ways that God has called me um, to serve him. Never in a million years did I think I would have the privilege to be um, the principal of OLQA. And uh, that is a sign to me that God works in a lot of unique ways. For me to come back to the life of education, uh, to working with young people in a more formal way, um, to be part of just a great community of learning, of faith, and of service. And I am really excited um, about what is to come in the life of OLQA. Certainly, uh, it's a trying time, and we're still trying to figure out some of the things for next year. But I know Mrs. Waller has a great team working with her, and I'm going to be there part of that too. Um, and she's going to bring some great ideas and some great energy and some new vision and build on the great work all of you have done over these past few years. And so I wanted to reach out to everyone today. First, always in gratitude, um, just to thank you for being so supportive, so encouraging, for teaching me a lot. Students and teachers and families and parents and grandparents have taught me a lot over these past two years. And really great gratitude for your openness to me and for all the things we've tried to do over these past few years and, you know, uh, even sometimes op being open in ways that maybe you didn't think you could be open. And same is true for me. You know, uh, one of the letters that St. Ignatius wrote uh, to St. Francis Xavier, and you know, they didn't text back then or email or any of that. Um, he said, go and set the world on fire. And that mission of uh, really being a great disciple of Jesus and uh, taking all the things we learn and responding how God wants us to, that's how you and I set the world on fire. With God's love, with God's mercy, with God's compassion. And that's what Catholic schools are supposed to do. And people who work in Catholic schools and people who attend them are supposed to be as well. So one of the ways we set the world on fire, one of the ways we respond to that great call of God's love is to pray. And can I share with you a prayer that I try to pray every day? I probably don't pray it as much as I should. And uh, these are the words of St. Ignatius of Loyola. And uh, prayer, words that he hoped that you and I could respond to God by saying. And let that be our closing prayer today, okay? So he says, Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All I have and call my own. You have given all to me, and to you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me. And so let's make those words our own in the days and the weeks and the months ahead, and let's pray for one another that we might respond to God's call of great love and set the world on fire by bringing his great love and mercy to all we meet both in our families, in our communities, and even to the world. Our Lady Queen of Apostles, pray for us. St. John the Evangelist, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.